Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is the second part of the viral PowerPoint series and I'll show you how I made these three slides so you can use them for your own presentations. Now I know that last week I didn't upload a new video and that's because I was working on my new website which is live now. So head over to lurutiappt.com and you'll be able to download my free slides, my premium presentations and also pre-order my PowerPoint course which will be launching this April. Now without further ado let's jump into our first slide. Now this video got over 4 million views on Instagram. It's absolutely insane. So we're gonna start inserting a rectangle and then we're gonna duplicate it four times holding control on your keyboard and just dragging it to the right and the shapes will go over the area of the slide that's totally fine don't worry about it and then you're gonna select everything and just get rid of the outline here and this presentation is about Brazil so I just pasted this image that I found of the flag of Brazil and I'm just gonna start changing the colors of each rectangle to align to the flag of Brazil. I'm just gonna leave the first one at the moment because we're gonna insert an image for this one. So then you just have to start adding your text, maybe having a description and maybe having a small title. And for this slide, I'm gonna use a different rectangle for a different category. Um, so in my case, I'm gonna use, for example, the green for culture and then the yellow for language and so on and so forth. But you can pretty much put whatever content that you want. Once you have one defined, like as in the size of your texts and the color stuff like that it's just very easy to duplicate it to the other rectangle so you just have to select both of the text boxes and hold control on your keyboard drag it to the right and then you can just change the colors and change the words and that's just a quick tip to speed up your workflow now the first rectangle will, will be like our main topic so in this case I will just write the word Brazil and I'm just gonna make it larger now I'm gonna copy this image that I found on Onsplash so right click copy image and then select the rectangle right click on it format shape and then from the field option select picture texture field from clipboard and from the crop menu select fill and then you're gonna select the image with the title and right click and click on group. And you're gonna group the rest of the elements. So just select all of them, right click, click on group and then group again. Now select the first group, the one with the image and right click bring to front. Then duplicate the slide with control D and drag everything to the left but the first group, the one with the image. So again, control D duplicate and just drag everything to the left and once you're done with everything you'll have to select all the slides click on transitions and then click on morph the second tutorial got over 2 million views on Instagram now we'll start inserting this parallelogram and we're going to duplicate it two times, holding control on your keyboard and dragging the shape to the right. Now, here's a trick that I use. I usually select everything and then group it so I can scale it evenly from both sides, holding um, shift on my keyboard. So make sure you cover the whole area of the slide and then right click and ungroup. And now I'm gonna select all shapes holding shift on my keyboard and I'm gonna get rid of the outline and I'm gonna change the color here to this um, navy blue. Then right click format background and here you're gonna select the color that you picked for your first um, shape which is the one on the left. And in my case is the same navy and then I'm gonna change the color of the second shape to a light blue. 
Now, if you double click on a shape, you'll be able to write in it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do for the first shape. I'm going to use it as a problem placeholder. And for my second shape, I'm going to use it as the solution. Now, on the third shape, we're going to insert uh, an image. So I just copied this one from Unsplash. So right click on the shape, go to uh, format shape, then fill picture or texture fill from clipboard and then click on the drop down menu from crop and click on fill and that way you can make it larger without it being skewed or distorted then you're going to select everything and just move it slightly to the right and then you're going to go to the search bar here at the top and you're going to look for display the selection pane and here we're going to make sure that our first shape is actually the first element from the selection. Then the second one is the second one from the selection pane and the third one is the, the third one. So that's um, how it is right now. And then you're going to duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and select everything. Go to shape format, click on align and align to center. And then you can move everything to actually align to the center of the slide. Now move that slide before the other one and then select both of them, click on transitions and then click on morph. And that's how I did these slides. Now the third one has over 3.5 million views. And for this one, I started with a purple background. So right click, format background, and then just select the color that you want. And here I'm gonna start creating these sort of um, frame for my image so first I start with a rectangle and then I'm gonna add a couple of circles here remember that you can duplicate by holding control on your keyboard and dragging the shape and pretty much you can play around with every shape that you like um, it doesn't have to be a circle or a rectangle or anything it's literally it will literally work with absolutely any shape that you create and then I'm gonna insert a square and rotate it here with um, with this handle right here. And once you're happy with the placement of everything, just select all the shapes, go to Merge Shapes and click on Union. And now you'll have one compound shape. And then I found this image on Unsplash of New Delhi, India. So right click, copy image and then select the shape right click format shape to get the format shape panel and then click on picture or texture fill from clipboard and untick this one right here that says rotate with shape and if your image looks skewed just go to crop and select fill and to create the inner frame uh, with the white outline you just have to copy this one with ctrl c and ctrl v and then click on the bucket here, select no fill, and then select um, an outline. So here, click on outline, solid line, and pick whatever color that you want. And then scale it down evenly, holding shift on your keyboard. And you'll notice that there is like a missing part here at the bottom. So just have to insert another rectangle here. And then select it with the frame, go to shape format, click on merge shapes and then click on union. And you'll have to do the line and no fill again to just increase the width of the stroke a little bit and um, just change the color. And for the background texture, I just found this purple texture online. So um, copy paste it, right click, send to back, and then you can change the transparency for from the format picture uh, panel. So here just increase the transparency a little bit. And lastly, what you need to do is just add your text, select a cool font. And that's how I did this awesome slide. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to go to lurutiappt.com so you can download your free template. And don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to comment. And I will see you on my next video.